A true leader has the confidence to stand alone, the courage to make tough decisions, and the compassion to listen to the needs of others. He does not set out to be a leader, but becomes one by the equality of his actions, and the integrity of his intent. The quality of a leader is reflected in the standards, they set for themselves. A great leader's courage to fulfill his vision comes from passion, not position. The supreme quality of leadership is unquestionably integrity. Without it, no real success is possible, no matter whether it is on a section gang, a football field, in an army, or in an office. Be a yardstick of quality. Some people aren't used to an environment where excellence is expected. He who has never learned to obey cannot be a good commander. Reason and judgment are the qualities of a leader. The leader can organize the experience of the group, and thus get the full power of the group. The leader makes the team. This is preeminently the leadership quality, the ability to organize all the forces there are in an enterprise and make them serve a common purpose. People want to see other people who have non-negotiable, things for which they're willing to say, this is it we take our stand right here. That's a leadership quality that people respect. The female view that one strengthens oneself by strengthening others is finding greater acceptance, and female values of inclusion and connection are emerging as valuable leadership qualities. The task of the leader is to get his people from where they are to where they have not been. The quality of a leader is reflected in the standards they set for themselves. Reason and judgment are the qualities of a leader. Many qualities make a great leader. But having strong beliefs, being able to stick with them through popular and unpopular times, is the most important characteristic of a great leader. An example is not the main thing in influencing others. It is the only thing. The insight to see possible new paths, the courage to try them, the judgment to measure results, these are the qualities of a leader. The quality of leaders matters less than the quality of citizens. Forethought and prudence are the proper qualities of a leader. Preparedness and punctuality are two of the most significant qualities of a leader. One quality of leaders and high achievers in every area seems to be a commitment to ongoing personal and professional development. The ruling quality of a leader's adaptive capacity is what allows true leaders to make the nimble decisions that bring success. Adaptive capacity is also what allows some people to transcend the setbacks and losses that come with age and to reinvent themselves again and again. The quality of a leader cannot be judged by the answers he gives, but by the questions he asks.